It last happened in 1604, when our universe witnessed the end of a lifetime of a star into a supernova. And now centuries later, there is a possibility of a giant star going supernova. The red supergiant star in the constellation of Orion Betelgeuse has long been a point of fascination for scientists and astronomers alike. One of the brightest stars of the lot, it is slowly dying, having used its main nuclear fuels. Sooner or later, it will disappear into the abyss of space. But why is this dying star of much importance to the scientific community? Why has it for centuries attracted the community of astrophysicists and astronomers? What makes this dying star so very special? Let's find out. Welcome to Lab 360, it's time to explore. Roughly 10 million years old, the orange-red-hued supergiant star Betelgeuse has made a cozy spot in the constellation of Orion. It is a semi-regular variable star positioned at the right shoulder of Orion, or the left shoulder as seen from Earth, if it is a clear sky. Try looking up at the sky tonight, you might just find it. This supergiant star has a radius of around 640 times that of the Sun. This means that if we were to replace our Sun with this giant star, it would spread beyond the asteroid belt and engulf the orbits of Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. That is how massive and full of life this star is. One of the largest stars in the universe, and much younger than our 5 billion year old Sun, Betelgeuse is 15 times heavier and 700 times larger than our Sun, making it about 7,500 to 14,000 times brighter than the Sun. Though its brightness keeps fluctuating, it is visible to the naked eye even at its dimmest. However, its glow gets brighter and dimmer depending upon its cycle of changing brightness. Mind you, Betelgeuse is around 725 light years away, meaning it takes the light from this star 725 years to reach Earth. Yeah, if you are seeing Betelgeuse in the night sky right now, remember that you are seeing the star from over 700 years ago. This piece of information completely blew your mind, didn't it? Unlike most stars with a constant glow, Betelgeuse undergoes a major brightness-changing cycle. One is about every 420 days, the others last 185 days, 230 days, and even 2,200 days. In addition, Betelgeuse has sudden brightness changes that break out of the known cycle. This liveliness of the supergiant star has bewitched astronomers and astrophysicists from the period of antiquity and before. Be it the 14th century astronomer Ptolemy, the 19th century astronomer Angelo Secchi, or Chinese astronomers before Ptolemy. The observation of Betelgeuse has been of great intrigue and part of mythology. The indigenous people from the Great Victoria Desert of South Australia incorporated Betelgeuse into their oral traditions. In South African mythology, Betelgeuse was perceived as a lion casting a predatory gaze toward the three zebras represented by Orion's belt. In the Americas, Betelgeuse signified a severed limb of a man figure, a hero whose leg was cut off by his wife. The variable light of Betelgeuse is linked to the severing of the limb, whereas the Lakota people of North America see it as a chief whose arm has been severed. The Sanskrit name for Betelgeuse is Ardra, after the Ardra lunar mansion in Hindu astrology. The 19th century star enthusiast Richard Hinckley Allen linked the Rigvedic god of storms Rudra to Orion's stormy nature. It was the brightness of Betelgeuse which made it part of numerous mythologies, from a solid yellow, meaning highly luminous, to its current red color. This giant star has seen civilizations evolve, but things started to change for the star in the fall of 2019. The visible disturbance gave birth to the possibility of it nearing the supernova stage, complete extinction. In 2019, a drastic dip occurred in the brightness of Betelgeuse, something outside of its typical brightening and fading cycle. And within months, the star had dimmed by about 60% in an event now known as the Great Dimming. So much so quick. This phenomenon intrigued the scientific community to the core. Many scientists anticipated the star might be entering the pre-supernova stage. Of the other existing theories, one suggested that a huge, cool, dark star spot covered a wide patch of the star's visible surface. But Andrea Dupree, Associate Director, Center for Astrophysics, Harvard and Smithsonian, led Hubble observations suggesting a dust cloud covering a portion of the star. Using Hubble, Dupree's team began observation in early 2019 and probed the layers above the star's surface. This is what Hubble captured. The surface was soaring at more than 20,000 degrees Fahrenheit.
From September through November 2019, researchers measured lines of singly ionized magnesium moving about 200,000 miles per hour, passing from Betelgeuse's surface into its outer atmosphere. This hot, dense material continued to travel beyond Betelgeuse's visible surface, reaching millions of miles from the seething star. At that distance, the material cooled down enough to form dust. According to researchers, Betelgeuse lost around two times the normal amount of material from the southern hemisphere over the three months of the outburst. Like all stars, it is losing mass all the time, but at a rate of 30 million times higher than the sun. The possible cause for the outburst was pinned to a convective plume bubbling up from deep inside the star. It produced shocks and pulsations that blasted off the chunk of the photosphere leaving the star with a large cool surface area under the dust cloud which was produced by the cooling piece of the photosphere. This fractured piece of photosphere ran into space and cooled to form a dust cloud, blocking light from the star from reaching Earth. The dimming of the giant star throughout 2019 was easily noticeable even from one's backyard. But after completely blowing off its top, things started to look cheerful for Betelgeuse in 2020. By mid-February 2020, Betelgeuse had lost more than two-thirds of its brilliance, and by April, it had returned to its normal brightness. But as of early 2024, the recent activity in the monster star suggests that it is rotating much faster than expected. A star with a diameter almost 1,000 times larger than the Sun should not be rotating this fast. Observations from the Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array, also known as ALMA, showed that Betelgeuse is rotating at the speed of 5 kilometers per second. Well, that's around eight times as fast as a jet fighter. Further investigation through ALMA revealed that half of Betelgeuse appears to be approaching Earth, while the other half appears to be receding. However, a team of astronomers at the Max Planck Institute for Astrophysics believes that Betelgeuse's boiling surface can be mistaken for rotation even in the most advanced telescopes. According to the team, the rotation is an illusion created by the star's violent boiling bubbles on the surface. Some bubbles are as large as Earth's entire orbit around the Sun, and since it is located at a distance of over 700 light-years from Earth, it appears to be rotating faster. In conclusion, for a much younger and massively huge star like Betelgeuse, rotating and emitting mass and heat at a much faster rate, it will burn through its material faster too, thus leading to a shorter lifespan as compared to other giant stars like our Sun. With that estimation, it is expected to end its evolution with a supernova explosion, most likely within 100,000 years. As for when the explosion happens, Betelgeuse is likely to shine as bright as the half-moon for more than three months. It definitely will explode as a supernova resulting in a neutron star or a black hole, and it will shower over us all types of radiation, which will matter a lot. Meanwhile, life on Earth will remain unharmed, except for the brightness that will prevail after. Share your thoughts in the comments section below, and be sure to subscribe to the channel for the latest revelations in space exploration. Hit the bell icon to stay updated, and let's continue to explore together.